cooling off in the waves of a water park. Millions of us do at this time of year as the hot weather hits. But for one group of high school seniors, the thrill of a water slide turned into a terrifying lesson on what can happen if you go overboard with the fun and games and rules about safety, even seemingly minor ones, aren't followed. On the 2nd of June, 1997, a long, fun day at Concord Water Park was coming to an end for the seniors of Napa High School when a group of them decided they were going to uphold the school tradition of what was known as clogging before they left. The idea was a sure way to get kicked out of the park, and seniors have been doing it for years, so why not do it themselves? The idea involved clogging the water slide, causing a massive pileup before shooting into the waters below together. Little did they know, what was to come would be anything but a joyous memory. More of a nightmare that continues to haunt many of them to this day. This is the horrific story of the Concord water slide disaster. The beginning of June marked the ending of the school year at Napa High School, a comprehensive high school located in Napa, California. For the seniors, who were between ages 17 and 18, it would be their last year at the school. So as always, the school would take the students to the water park. Although they did this every year, this was the first year that the pupils were taken to the Concord Water Park, which was also in California. Today, it is better known as the Six Flags Hurricane Harbor, but when the park opened in 1995, it was named the Waterworld USA Concord Water Park. The park spanned over 20,000 square feet and proved to be very popular with people traveling all over the USA to go. The park would close during the winter and when it would open, it would open with a new attraction. The newest addition in 1997 was the Banzai Pipeline. The Banzai Pipeline is described as being a thrilling, rushing water slide tower featuring three unique slides that twist, turn, and spin guests down more than three stories. For the students of Napa High School, one of these slides was the perfect place to execute their plan. They knew what they were going to do would get them kicked out of the park, so they waited until the end of the day. As soon as they heard the call to return to the school bus, the students made their way to the Banzai Pipeline. Their plan was simple. They would rush down the slide together, holding hands, and then hold onto the side of the slide which would hold them in place. More and more students would come down, resulting in a massive pileup before letting go and all going down into the pool below together. It was now 2.45 p.m. and over 30 pupils had run towards the top of the slide. The group completely ignored the warnings of the lifeguard who was unable to stop them and one by one, they made their way down the slide only, they never made it all the way down. As the 33 seniors piled down the slide, which was only meant for one person at a time, it began to crack. Alinda Franco, who was one of the last ones to go down, recalled the moment she knew something was wrong. She said, The sound of fiberglass cracking is ingrained in my mind forever. I remember starting to fall and trying to grab onto something. It was like the platform was just an arm's length away, but I couldn't reach it. As soon as I felt myself starting to fall, my brain shut off. After the fiberglass cracked, the slide suddenly burst open, which sent the 33 students plummeting 40 feet to the concrete below. Bodies were falling out of the sky, which spilled blood all over the concrete and into the waters. It was a truly horrific sight. Many of the students also banged into wooden support poles on the way down and fell on top of their fellow classmates. In seconds, 33 students were lay on the floor as workers rushed to their aid. They were crying and screaming for help. One witness said, It was just horrible. All the kids were covered in mud and blood. Emergency services rushed to the scene and rescue crews evacuated the injured to the hospitals. Many of them were concussed, had broken bones and were bleeding profusely. Quite remarkably, out of the 33 that fell, only one of them passed away. 18-year-old Quimby Gotti was the last to go down. Sadly, as she fell, she smacked her head off the concrete and died on the way to the hospital. 
Wimby was described as a gentle and kind girl, the type of person that you would go to for advice. After the incident, the park was closed and an investigation was launched. A spokesman for the park stated, based upon what we know at this point, we believe the slide was safe. We are still gathering the facts on precisely what happened. The story gained massive media attention over the next few days and Napa High School was at the center of everybody's attention. The investigation showed that the weight of the seniors on the slide was over four times its capacity, which caused it to break. Parents of the teenagers, including Quimby's, filed a wrongful death suit against the park. They had claimed that the slide was too weak and park security was insufficient to prevent the disaster. Additionally, they charged Napa High School authorities with failing to interfere after reportedly overhearing the children discussing what they were going to do. Although investigators found no fault and the park maintained its innocence, Concord Park paid approximately 4 million to the families affected. 1.7 million of this went to Quimby's family. Personally, I don't understand why they were made to pay 4 million, but from what I could find, they didn't want the stress of going to trial. In my opinion, this wasn't the park's fault at all. It wasn't the ride designer's fault or the lifeguards, and they shouldn't have had to pay a thing. The following week, over 800 people attended Quimby's memorial service, which was held in the school's gymnasium, many of her friends still in crutches and wheelchairs from the week before. Not only were her classmates saying goodbye to their friend, but they were saying goodbye to their innocence as well. Assistant head teacher Roger Ashlock said, We won't see her graduation gown. We won't see her walk across the stage. We won't get hugs in the reception line. But I have faith that we will see her again to tell her that we love her and to give her a hug that we missed on June the 2nd. A lot of emphasis was put on the fact that it was their own fault, which I'm sad to say that it was. They caused the overcrowding, but we need to remember they were 17 and 18. And let's be honest, at that age, we all did some dumb shit and none of them deserve this outcome. Later on that year, the students went on to have their graduation ceremony and today are doing much better, although some of them are still haunted by the incident and will have chronic injuries that will follow them for the rest of their lives. The slide was reinforced over the next few weeks and reopened. It remains open to this day. Obviously, this is quite the story, so let me know your opinions below. But as always, please be respectful. Thank you for watching.